Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you are new to this channel, please consider subscribing and share it among your friends who are actually preparing for AWS certifications. All right. So in this video, I'm going to explain how to create a default VPC if you have deleted it without knowing. All right. So first, let us understand what is a default VPC. Okay. So default VPC is a logically isolated virtual network in your AWS cloud. So that get that's get created automatically when you create your AWS account. So the meaning of that is when you create a AWS account, so a logical virtual network will be created inside your AWS account in all the regions. One VPC will be created in all the regions and that VPC is called as default VPC. Okay, so when you launch an instance without specifying any subnet ID or your VPC, so what happens by default that instance that EC2 instance will be launched into your default VPC. Okay, so it is highly recommended not to delete your default VPC even if you are not making use of it. Okay, so how will you identify whether my VPC is a default VPC or my custom VPC? Okay, so the default VPC, the CIDR block of uh, VPOS, uh, CIDR block of default VPC will always be 172.31.0.0 slash 16. So please remember this IP address. It will come in handy when you approach examinations or in real world also. Okay, so this is the default VPC CIDR block. Okay, so what I'm gonna do now is first, so in my account, I already have default VPC. What I'll do is first I'll go, I'm going to delete it. Okay, so then create it. Okay, so uh, how to delete the v uh, VPC I'll show you and also how to create, recreate the default VPC I will show you because what was happening previously if in case you delete the default VPC, so you need to raise a support request to AWS and then they used to create your default VPC in the region that you have deleted. But right now you can create it in the console itself without even raising any ticket to AWS. Okay, so let us see one by one. First, let me delete the existing default VPC. Okay, I'll go to my AWS console and let us see if we have the default VPC present in that account. Okay. So now if you see, this is my AWS account. Okay. So let us search for VPC in the search bar. So let me open VPC. So under VPC, you have your VPCs, right? You click on that in the left hand side. If you see here right now, I only have one VPC one by one. Okay. So this is the VPC that I have. So how to know whether this is a default VPC or a custom VPC. So I have, as I already explained, you need to look into the IPv4 CIDR. So this is having 172.31.0.0 slash 16, which is the default IP default VPC IP address range, right? So let us see. See 172.31.0.0 slash 16. So this by this you, you identified that this is your default VPC. Okay. So let me go ahead and delete this VPC first and then recreate it back. Okay. So do de delete to delete this one. You just need to click on actions and select click on delete VPC. So you, if you see it will prompt you and show you what and all the things that are getting deleted. If you see the subnets, I, internet gateway, all these things are getting deleted. If I delete this VPC. Okay. So let us check and delete this box so you need to acknowledge that you are okay to delete this one and you also need to type in delete default vpc instead you can copy from here and paste it there okay let me do that and click on delete so within few minutes it will get deleted the default vpc gets deleted all right now if you see if you see this uh, here the message says you successfully deleted this particular vpc and right now if you see okay so let me close this one 
so right now if you see there are no vpcs right so you not even the default vpcs are present so and aws recommends not to delete your default vpc even if you are not using it because sometimes some resources needs default vpc to be there uh, to work correctly all right so let me recreate the default vpc how to do that again you need to be here in your vpcs and if you check this actions box there is an option to create default vpc click on that so it will prompt you to create a default vpc let me click on that see it is created our default vpc and how to verify again cider 172.31.0.0 slash 16 so always remember this cider okay so let let me go back to your vpcs now if you see this is my ipv4 cider okay so this is how you create a default vpc in whenever you have uh, deleted it by chance right so that is it for today's video i hope you liked it so please subscribe to the channel and share it among your friends thank you